Every year in the US of A, there are 600,000 snowboarding and skiing accidents. And last year, there were 54 deaths. Double digits. And you know what? If you think, no, that'll never happen to me. It happened to one of our very own that works here in the shop. One of our CAD designers, who we will call Bro One, was skiing last week and he had an accident. And he broke his uh, fingers pretty bad and he hit his head. So that got me thinking, equipment that you do to do think i'm not a skier or a snowboarder and neither is mitchell They're so helmets okay <laughs> they vary widely in price yours was 300 and yours was 30. is there a difference i think vents adjustable ventilations i mean is that worth 10 times the price though maybe <laughs> depends, depends, on how your head is. depends on how much of a head sweater you are <laughs> he's a hothead <laughs> yeah it also has like nice magnetic yeah. things right here. But again, 10 Snapping. times the price? Might be. I'm thinking that with the higher price, you should be getting better protection. But using super scientific methods that only we can do here in our shop, we're going to see if we can prove that. So the first super scientific test is gonna be uh, somebody lying down on the ground and then we use this uh, 28 pound brass bat. Who's swinging it? I will. Elliot's been wanting to do this for a while. <laughs> yeah, we're not actually going to hit Mitchell's head while he's wearing it, so... Uh... I was ready for it, though. <laughs> when you are... It was a solid hit, Elliot. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. But it was low and right about here. I want to get, like, a good hit on, like, the back. Maybe even come down from, like, a pie. Okay. You got it in you? Yeah. Our honeydew did crack. You could see it in the slow motion. It did crack right here on impact of the bat, which tells me that being hit in the head with that is probably a lot harder than most people are going to experience out skiing or snowboarding, right? But I'd still rather have the helmet than not have it. Well, yeah. <laughs> if I had the choice. I'm just saying this is probably one of the more extreme situations what we're testing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you feel and good about that? We lost the honeydew. <laughs> yeah, that tastes like a head equivalent, all right. So our tests are accurate? Scientifically speaking, yes. Looking at the slow motion, you can see how much it dents into the back of the helmet, which is way more than I thought it would have, but it bounced back and I don't think it's cracked at all. Mm. So these helmets have a rigid foam liner a inside crack of right them. There. Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh uh, yeah, in there. These these helmets have a rigid foam liner in them. So once we cut them in half, we're going to be able to see how compressed that foam actually is, and then we'll compare it to uh, this helmet when we hit it, and see uh, if one looks better than the other. Science. So Elliot, you got to hit that one with the same force you hit that one. Exact same. Exact same. Okay. It's like the same force as Albert Pujol. What? Roughly. <laughs> Dissect it. Honeydew is still intact. Really? Okay, now just like evaluate yourself personally. Was that about right. the same? Like That was definitely not quite Mike Trout level. It seemed I like more of a Pujols to me. <laughs> <laughs> you may be right. We do have a crack right there on the side. Okay. 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 We got some honeycomb shown in there. Mm, that's that $300 foam. I hadn't looked at the slow mo before, and watching it now, this one compressed what looks like a lot more than the previous one. But we're still going to hit it again just because we can. Ah! Oh, honeydew came out. Killed the melon. I think I hit the wood, though. I feel like Rafiki. Did Rafiki break people's skulls open and eat their brains? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the cheap helmet up first. We're going to cut it in half. Then we'll do the expensive helmet. Cut it in half. Compare them and see which one would help you not be dead. Reveal. 
Oh, that's grass instead. Oh, this one got it right on the dome. You can see that recess right there. It does look dented more than the other. Also, Ooh. one thing we failed to notice before was this did crack the foam all the way through the baseball hit. And you know what they say, if it cracks the foam, it cracks the dome. Yes. <laughs> Fell apart and it's just like hot glue onto styrofoam. Foam shell, no, hot foam glued, inner, hot glued to a plastic shell. Doesn't stick very well. There you can see, it's kind of hard to divot. see it on camera, but there's a visible divot and then you've got the cracks in the foam right there where it stressed it too far. Yeah, we didn't see that one from the inside, but yeah, that's a crack. Now the question, is there gonna be a noticeable difference inside this one? I mean, you can see it's not foam in there. It's like a honeycomb. So maybe that's 600 or what, $300 honeycomb? $300 honeycomb. See if it was worth it. Okay. There's a lot more. No, there's, look at that. There's mini honeycomb. This is glued down. Rip it. So there's honeycomb with like a foam cross. So there's a rigid foam structure with the honeycomb in it. Huh. And our baseball bat hit was, it was like right here. You can see a crack in there on the rigid foam. But the honeycomb looks, for the most part, unscathed. unscathed. So looking at this helmet and being a self-proclaimed member of the ski patrol, do you think more money is better? According to science, you can um, see the benefits. The flexiness? Yeah, the flexibility Absorbed and the impact. absorption. And it bounces potential. back. Boing. So is $300 too much when it comes to the protection of your head? Well, the rest of the ski patrol and I were discussing this. <laughs> I'd say you can never spend too much when it comes to your head. Your dome, as me and the boys call it. Was that statement paid for by Big Helmet Inc.? No. Not <laughs> so even looking at all of these, I think the biggest clue that the $300 one was better than the $30 one was when we hit the $30 one with the baseball bat, in slow motion you can see that the honeydew broke on bat impact. Where here we survived that first hit. And we threw it basically across the parking lot and it still wasn't cracked, so. And an overall construction, by far better materials in the expensive helmet. Hot glue, actual screws and metal hardware. Look at that. Those honeycombs are expensive. Just think how many honeybees had to make that. At least a dozen. Well, the moral of the story is get a good helmet and don't run into trees. And don't get hit with a baseball bat. Heads up at all times. No, that one's that's dumb. <laughs> if you crack the foam, you crack the dumb. That was just... <laughs> you missed okay. it. <laughs> if you like seeing us cut more expensive stuff in half like this, then feel free to support us. You can go to waterjetknives.com down in the description. We've got a bunch of new knife blanks, including a bunch of kitchen knife blanks, cheese knife, paring knife, steak knife. And we've also launched our new Knife Maker subscription box. It's a great month to start. Um, you get all the materials to make both of these knives sent to your door. You'll have a video made specifically for you telling you how to make it from start to finish. And a surprise. I don't even know the surprises. Nobody told me. You're a terrible employee. Nobody told me. <laughs>